In this video, we'll be using Integromat to create a Telegram bot. The bot will send us the weather for the day ahead, each morning once we command it to. Once you understand how to create this bot, you'll be able to create a range of other bots too. The main tool we'll be using in this project is Integromat. You can sign up for an account at Integromat.com. The link is in the description. We'll be using Integromat's free plan for this project. However, if you exceed the limits defined on their pricing page, you will need to upgrade your Integromat plan. And as we're creating a bot for Telegram, we'll be using Telegram too. For convenience, I've timestamped the video in the description. To begin creating our automated bot, we must first set up the bot in Telegram. Hence, you'll need to make sure that you've created a Telegram account. You'll want to start a conversation with the Telegram bot to create bots, Bot Father. Once you have this contact, what you'll want to do is enter forward slash start. The bot will reply with a list of commands we can enter. As we want to create a new bot, we must enter forward slash new bot. That will begin the bot creation process. We'll now get asked what we want to call our bot. For the purposes of this project, I'll call the bot Rav in Paris. That's short and simple. Now we can choose a username for our bot. The username for your bot must end in the word bot. So let's give it a username of Rav in Paris bot. Perfect. Our Telegram bot is now created. We'll need this token when we set up the automation integration in Telegram. Hence, keep this chat window open. And let's click the link to our bot for it to appear. And we can press start. We can now switch to Integromat and begin setting up the automation. Integromat labels automations as scenarios. Hence, to create our automation, we must click scenario. Then click create a new scenario. Now you'll want to search for Telegram and once you've found that, select it. Then you'll want to search for weather and once you've found that, select that too. And from here we can click continue. We can now begin defining the steps for our automation. First, we'll want to configure Telegram. Let's click on Telegram. We can now define its trigger. For the purposes of our project, we'll want to define Telegram's trigger as watch updates. At this point, you'll need to connect your Telegram webhook. Click Add. And of course, you can rename your webhook, but for the purposes of this project, I will leave that as it is. And also, under Connection, you'll need to click Add To. And again, you can rename your connection name, but for the purposes of this project, I will leave that as it is. Now under token, which is the most important part, you'll need to switch back to Telegram and make sure you're in the bot father chat. And what you'll want to do is copy the token ID that I mentioned earlier. Then what you'll want to do once you've copied that is go back to Integromat and paste that into the token field. From here, you can click OK. Then you can click Save. And from here, we can click OK once again. We'll now want to add the next module, Weather. Let's add another module, that module being Weather. We'll want to set the action event to get current weather. This action will get the day's weather for any city that we desire. Now we can define which city we want the weather for. I'm currently recording this tutorial in Paris, hence I'll set the city as Paris, France. Now click OK. 
We'll now want to add the next module. That module being Telegram once again. This time, let's set the action event to send a text or reply. This action will send the day's weather to the Telegram bot that we created. We can now begin defining how the message will appear. So let's go through this. Connection. We set up the connection to our Telegram bot in the first function. Hence, we can leave that as it is currently set up. Chat ID. Our bot needs to know where to post our messages. Hence, you'll need to click into Chat ID. Then under Telegram, what you'll want to do is expand Chat, then select ID. That dynamically draws in the correct ID for our bot. Text, we can define how our message will appear. This will draw the data dynamically from the weather function. Let's do as follows. Today's forecast for Paris. Below that, we'll write temp. And then what we're going to do is draw in the temperature data dynamically. And below that, let's do sunrise. And again, let's draw in the sunrise data dynamically. Similarly, we'll do that for sunset. And again, drawing in the data dynamically. And finally, let's do rain. And again, we're drawing that data in dynamically. We can leave everything else as it is. Now, click OK. Let's define when our automation should run. Along the bottom, click Schedule Settings. We can, of course, schedule it to run at regular intervals, every day, a particular day of the week or month. But for the purposes of this project, I'm going to leave it set to Immediately and click OK. Now I'm going to click the magic wand button to auto align our functions. And along the top, I'll simply rename our automation to weather in Paris. Let's now test our automation. Click run once. Now switch back to Telegram. And in our bot, let's simply enter weather. If you created the automation correctly, you should get an automated message appear in the chat for your Telegram bot. Excellent. With that working, we can go back to Integromat. Now, you can turn the scheduling on. We already set the scheduling rules. We can now exit the editing because our automation is created. And if we go back to the scenarios page, you'll see that it is active and will execute as per our rules. As mentioned in the beginning, once you get this working, you'll be able to get a whole range of other similar Telegram bots via Integromat 2. I hope creating a Telegram bot saves you a ton of time. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no-code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest projects that I publish every week, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no-code project.